Hi, this is Shade O'Neill with CIO.com. I'm here with my colleague Al Sacco, and we've got our hands on a Google Chrome OS notebook called the CR48. It's part of their pilot test program. And uh, here's the box it came in. Very Googleish box. Got lots of funky graphics on there. We got a funny mouse guy with a helmet over there in the bottom left. And uh, yeah, very Googleish. So let's open it up and see what's inside here. There are three main parts. We have AC adapter and a power cable, very important. Important indeed. Yeah. And then we have the notebook itself. That's even more important. It's uh, a generic, it's a, a prototype. It's rubbery, there's no brand on it, but it gives you a sense of um, the size, and the screen size is uh, 12 inches, I believe. Right, I think it's 12.1, but close enough. Uh, like Shane said, it's not branded. There's no Google logo or anything like that, but we do know there's an Intel chip in there. Here we have the battery, very thin battery, and noteworthy because it has eight hours of power, according to Google. And of course we trust Google. Yeah. <laughs> it snaps in very easily in the back. Pretty simple. Pretty standard. Okay. Al, you want to talk about some of the um, sure, supports? Sure, just a quick look at the hardware. As we said, it's very standard, generic, um, kind of MacBook-like. Uh, there's a VGA port there on the left side for uh, connecting a display. Got some fan ports as well. In the front, there's a little latch to help you open it up, also like a MacBook. Uh, another fan port. Uh, we got a SD card, memory card slot that just clicks out and clicks back in once you put the card in there. We got a standard 3.5 millimeter headset jack there. We got one single USB port. That's just one on the whole machine, and then we've got the AC power port as well. And that's it. Very standard. Pretty simple. Okay, let's open it up and see what's going on on the keyboard and the screen. Nice trackpad and a Mac-esque keyboard. Um, Let's see. Okay, so the screen, the Chrome logo comes up immediately. I didn't touch anything. I didn't press a power button or anything. It happens right away. And here is a login box. Uh, we logged into um, Wi-Fi network earlier. It was very easy to do, so we figured we'd save you some time and do that before. Um, so here is the login box with a picture of me. Um, what they do is they ask you to log in with your Gmail information. And then the camera, here at the top of the screen, there's a microphone too, takes a picture of you and that becomes your account picture and that will show up every time you log in. And you can see there's a little box next to Shane's mugshot there as well. It's, this has guest on it. Uh, that's basically for the, the guest uh, option where you can you know, let someone share it or you know, if you don't want someone to access your specific uh, settings, they just log in there. They don't need to use a Google account. They can just browse and, and uh, without access to the system resources or, that, or system information information specific to users. Right. And that's uh, Google in keeping with its cloud model right. that uh, will allow you to hand this off to someone and they can access their stuff and not access yours. Sure. So let's log in. Get away from Shane's password yep. for a minute. Yep. There we go. I don't want anyone stealing my password. Secret. Secret. Takes you right to a browser web page. We have CIO.com here. Cause that's where we work, and um, it's a browser. There's no there's no desktop screen. The browser is your screen. It takes you right from the login box uh, to a web page, and this is where you do your work in the cloud. So, um, Al, you want to yeah. talk about the keyboard? Yeah, as we noted before, it's, it's, it's a very Mac-like. It looks like a MacBook in a lot of different ways. Uh, it's got this trackpad here. Uh, it also has the, the basic keyboard navigation. It's based on this top row of buttons here, which is, again, Mac-like. So you can see them. There's a, a back forward, back and forward key, a reload key, a full screen key, a next tab key, screen brightness controls, mute key, volume controls, and then finally we've got a, a cool power button which has a few different functions over there. If Shane, maybe you can uh, tell them about that and then also this cool uh, search bar over here. Okay, yeah, there's a search button here which takes the place of a caps lock. There's no caps lock on this keyboard. Um, so you press this and it opens a, a new tab with some suggested apps, a lot of them Google apps. This is not the Chrome web store that you were hearing about, just mm -hmm. a page with suggestions, and it's a search bar at the top. Right. And if you hit the button again, it closes the tab. Um, one feature we'd like to show you is sleep mode, which is as simple as just shutting the laptop. 
it's asleep now. Um, there's no um, sound to tell you that it's asleep. There's no there's no there's no bell or buzzer that goes off. But Google tells us it's in sleep mode, so we believe them. Right. And when you open it up, it wakes up immediately. Right back up. Very rapid. Goes right to sleep. Opens right up again. And as you saw, in that initial startup is also very quick. So. Yep. To end things, if you want to shut off or at least go back to your uh, main login screen, you hold down the power button. That takes you to your initial login screen. And it also locks the computer up so no one else can access it. Yep, exactly. And to end things, to really shut down, you hold down the power button again, and, that's and it. the notebook shuts off. Very simple. So again, this, is a, uh, this, this machine is part of a, a pilot testing program. It's not a finished product. It's not what you'll be buying when uh, these machines become available next summer. But uh, we thought it was worth uh, showing you some features. So hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments field. See ya.